I uh, want to thank the community for achieving what looks like a 64% reduction in our non-essential activity in Travis County. That is really profound and it really goes to the heart of who we are as a county. Uh, but I think that we could do even better. The modeled projections that Mayor Adler will be speaking on momentarily from the University of Texas shows um, multiple possible futures for us. So we, we do modeling and we take a look at the number of reported cases we have in the city. We take a, a confirmations. Uh, we take a look at hospitalizations. Uh, we can take a look at when the symptoms uh, uh, became apparent for the very first time. But the numbers I'm going to talk about today are based on hospitalizations. You can see that the peak in Austin really starts, we're going to start feeling it under this scenario, the end of April into May. The actual peak itself probably won't be until uh, May going into, into June. But if we can do better, if we can get to the 75% reduction that the, the judge was just talking about, or 80% reduction or 90% reduction, you can see two things. The first is, is that the peak is much lower, and the second that it's pushed back in time, so we have more time to be able to, to get ready to, to prepare. When you look at the numbers that are coming into us and you look at our history, the first thing you need to keep in mind is what we're seeing in the numbers today reflect what we did in the community two weeks ago. So the numbers that we're seeing now that are shown on this chart, and this also came out of the UT professor's uh, report, show you our numbers. And you can see at the beginning, uh, the numbers were to the left of the lines that uh, we, we drew, and the more recent numbers are to the right. But these numbers still don't reflect. Because the last number that you can see that we have on here is in the, the end of March time frame. Our numbers still don't reflect what we have been doing uh, uh, for the, the conduct that we had when we began to physically isolate. So we're going to be watching this chart over the next 10 days to two weeks. And then we'll see really how we've done in the community. But the signals are that we're doing a good job. We can't police this or enforce this everywhere. It's going to take each of us making the commitment ourselves to, to cumulatively get this work done.